Hello and welcome to Rail and Rail Enthusiast, another one in our series of Along the Railway Line. To find out what station I'm at, here's John with the railway map. The Kent Downs line runs from Ashford International all the way through to Kemsing. But I shall not be visiting Kemsing as I visited that on my top 10 least used stations in Kent series. A link is in the description below. And today, I'm at Lenham. Opened in 1884 by the Maidstone and Ashford Railway, the station had a rather unique layout for the line, which I will come to in a few moments. The station building was erected on the Ashford bound side and it was the largest on the route. A two-storey red bricks affair with a high pitched roof, it certainly does have character. It is complemented with a brick built shelter on the London bound side and like all intermediate stations, initially had no footbridge. Crossing of the tracks was via a foot crossing on the eastern end of the platforms. Many goods were handled here and a six siding goods facility confirmed this. On the London bound side, two were placed behind the platform and one of these went through a goods shed. Two more were to be found south of this location, connected by a single track to the London bound running line. Another two more were on the Ashford bound side and connected to that was a length of track which formed a dock line. All of these were controlled by a signal box placed on the west end of the London bound platform. Nothing much changed at Lenham until electrification came in the early 1960s. To accommodate this, a footbridge was placed on the platforms and the foot crossing was closed. Utilising the track from the goods yard on the London bound side, an electrified loop was positioned behind that platform. A passing loop for the Ashford bound line was positioned away from the platforms to the west. This enabled fast services to bypass the station. The goods facilities here lasted until 1969 and eventually signalling was passed over to the Maidstone East power box in 1984. There were a few modifications to the canopies and footbridge in the 1990s to accommodate the larger containers from the Channel Tunnel rail workings, but apart from that, little else has changed at Lenham. However, the station has faced uncertainty by the potential creation of a new community east of the station. Plans for this to include a new station, however, nothing is yet decided at the time of filming and lots of decisions are still up for debate. Passenger traffic is provided by class 375 and 377 electric multiple units. The station building looks fantastic from the outside and is complemented by quite a large car park. To the right hand side you will find some bike racks and just around the corner from these is the platform information board. You will also find here an assistance point and an onward travel information board. At the front below the canopy you will of course find the entrance to the booking hall as well as an electronic ticketing machine. The booking hall is very welcoming with a very high pitched roof. There is a ticketing desk as well as some leaflets. Also on this side you will see some posters regarding South Eastern Railway and another onward travel information board. It is however the other side of the booking hall which is more interesting. This is adorned with vintage posters and they are fantastic to see and really mark out this booking hall as being quite unique. And a short walk over the bridge will take you to the original waiting shelter on platform one. The statistics for Lenham are that it opened in 1884 it currently has one train per hour in both directions off peak with additional services during peak times and the entry and exit figures for 2019-2020 were 120,266. Lenham is a very nice station to visit. The booking hall is bright and airy with the addition of heritage posters for interest. The buildings on the whole are very well maintained and it is good to see the original waiting shelter still intact on platform one. Its future may be uncertain, but at the time of filming I can absolutely recommend a visit. 
Sight lines are excellent for the enthusiast, but building work behind the platforms may hinder videography. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, comment and subscribe. And if you can, get out there, get on the railway and see where it takes you. Thanks very much for watching.